The Supreme Court of Canada began hearing the extradition case of a mother and uncle accused in a so-called honour killing in India more than 17 years ago. Jassy Sadhu was brutally murdered in India's Punjab province. Our Tina Lovegreen has been following this story. Jazzy Sidhu was 25 when she was brutally murdered in India's Punjab province. Her throat slashed, her body dumped in a canal in India. Her husband, Mitu Sidhu, was badly beaten and left for dead. Jazzy was the daughter of wealthy blueberry farmers and lived in Maple Ridge. She'd gone back to India that summer in 2000 to be with her husband, who was a poor rickshaw driver that she had married in secret. Her family disapproved of him because he was a man of a much lower social status. Her mother, Malkit Sidhu, and uncle, Surjit Badesha, were arrested in 2012, accused of being the masterminds of her murder. India's courts have asked to have the pair extradited to face trial. However, that was challenged with lawyers saying the pair could face violence, torture or neglect based on India's human rights record. Here is the uncle's lawyer, Michael Klein, speaking to the Supreme Court of Canada this morning. People get tortured in Indian prisons. That's what the human rights reports are talking about. People aren't dying in Canadian prisons at the hands of their jailers. Canada has received assurances that the two won't be executed or mistreated in India. But a number of human rights lawyers in Canada say those assurances can't be trusted. A lawyer for the government of Canada says failing to extradite the pair will undermine global justice. It undermines the entire concept of extradition and sending people to the country where they have allegedly committed crime if we refuse to surrender based on imperfections in our treaty partners, even sometimes large imperfections, without a more specific connection to the person sought situation. If we do that, we fail to recognize the importance of extradition to the international community as a mechanism for avoiding impunity. But Professor of Sociology Indira Prast, who has long been following this case, says in the midst of all these questions around international justice, some, some key questions are being left out. Where is Jazzy's voice? Where are the elements of her life that she had a right to? What, what is the precedent that we're setting for her being murdered? And we're now asking questions for the alleged perpetrators, how they would be charged, and particularly their concerns and comfort. Um, it, it is humiliating, and it's actually uh, a very good example of a form of devaluing Jazzy's life. So I think I think we need to bring back into the forefront why she was murdered, how she was murdered, and what are some of the elements within the community that can be changed. The court will make a decision at a later date. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.